Hi Stampin' Friends! Tonight we're using the Playing in the Rain stamp set and matching dies. Um, it is a lot of fun and there's so many that um, can be used with rain and then um, so many that can be used with that don't necessarily have to be anything about rain. Um, the die actually cuts the bunny out of the puddle so that you can just use the bunny on its own. So if you want to use the happy day or a happy birthday or some kind of an excited type um, sentiment, you can do that without um, any kind of rain shower going on. In My first idea for this was to create a card that's like a Z fold. Typically we have our Z folds be very long. I did this one slightly different. Um, what I did was just make it eight and a half by five and a half and then squirt it this direction. Um, so what I wanted to show you, the reason I didn't go ahead and attach this piece, I wanted to tell you that when I do this, I score at the normal score, which is four and a quarter, and then I score it two and an eighth. I didn't get that stuck down very well, just a second. There we are. And then this piece, you do it basically the same way, you just fold it the other direction. So what's great about this is that you can do a whole bunch of these at once and then cut them down to where they are about an inch and a half wide, and you can do only one set of scoring. So then what I wanted to show you was how I managed to put my, you see how this attaches. You don't want adhesive under this piece. So what I did was I put my adhesive on this side, my tear and tape, and then I used this side to just imagine the, the space in which I was going to put this tear and tape because with it folded like this I won't accidentally get it where it's going to hang over into this and, and tear up my card when I put it together. So let's go ahead and get this going. Um, you can vary how far, how wide this is, makes your card look completely different. You can make it narrower and you can put your, the center piece here, you can make it into a different kind of a look. You know, it's slightly different score. But um, I'm going to put this at the bottom, and I'm not going to put it all the way against the bottom, though you could. And um, I'm just going to line it up along here. And then you can see how it's going to, it's going to approximately um, lay nicely. So I'm going to go ahead and take this one loose, tear the tape off, tear the backing off. And I did go ahead, I know it doesn't look like it, because... I guess I'm either weak or afraid or something, but I did use my bone folder and run down all of these um, edges, but I, I always end up being um, a little bit concerned with my ability to do that, so I feel like it's, it is popping up. Okay, so as you're trying to figure out exactly how I, high up you want it, it's a great idea to use your grid paper here and use it to line it up, like someplace or the other. Just, you know, you wanna get it straight, you want your um, card base to be straight here, and then you're gonna want this piece to be as straight as possible, and then you'll press it down. Okay, so then the same thing on this side, I'm gonna pick this up and take these off, give them a toss, and then the same thing here, I'm, before I press it down, I'm going to try to be sure that I have it feeling like it's straight and that I'm happy with it. Then I'm just going to press it down. So there you can see I've got it where it's going to go easily into an envelope and it's on there neatly. So I hope that that will help you as you're doing these type of cards to get yours on there fairly neatly. Now this paper that I'm using is the paper that matches. You know, where they have the playing in the rain is the stamp set and dies, and then the paper is um, like rainy day or I don't remember now. You know how that is? I look at these right before I come on and then somehow it just like hops out of my brain. But anyway, that's that plan. Now there are so many little pieces that you can put on here. Um, you can put, just an oh happy day. 
You can add some clouds up in the sky just for fun. Now, one thing I did forget to cut out, I should have had some kind of a little circle or a little something, maybe an unstamped cloud actually or two would make a great place to sign your name on the card. But um, I wanted to kind of show you some possibilities on this card that I thought would be cute. Um, I liked putting the bunny with this paper because this bunny, I, could, I did several coloring color choices here. I liked using this bunny because it matches the color of the flowers. And I did this little guy, this little turtle, kind of dark. So I kind of wanted to put him on here as well because it's all of the greens that are on there. And then we have our little umbrella fox. Okay, now, in the paper there are a bunch more animals, but these are the ones that our dies cut out. So what I was going for here was just kind of imagining it comes with a die that cuts out a little bridge. So it's kind of cute to put your guys behind a bridge. Um, you could put it like right here, tuck it down in there to make it safe. And then that's still going to, I don't know if you can understand what I'm saying here. That's not going to be a problem. You could put a bridge right across here on this fold. And then you could put... The reason I did it in red, I thought it would look cute if this little guy appeared to be walking across it. Now, I would probably want to add another little tiny bit of red there, but maybe not. Maybe I want it to be kind of like it's in the distance or whatever. So, the other thing that this has with it, it has some little bows, and you could put a bow in our little uh, bunny's hair, like in her ear, if you wanted to make this a girl bunny. If it was a boy bunny, you, of course, wouldn't need to do that, but you could also put a bow tie on your little turtle because you know super cute I just don't think we will think of that because it came with a kite um then if you use the um kite obviously not in the rain I'm just kind of trying to show you these all at once you can use the black and then use your scissors and just cut off let me find my scissors I know I saw them here that is so funny guys so this time apparently I have my adhesives and I don't have my scissors. Oh, here we are. Okay. So cut that off. So if I'm putting this here to make my my um kite and I put this piece over and this is going to be hard for me to see as I'm doing this. And I want to do it like that or you could also change just one of these, you know, just make it where they're all different and put like the green at the bottom, this like that. I think that could be really cute. But my point is, all of us have seen these, you know, ribbons on a kite, but don't forget there's other ways, like I was showing you with the bunny or with the turtle, to use little cute bow ties. Just kind of adds a different, different fun little look to that. There's another couple of clouds there that you can see. Okay, so let's go ahead and put this together. Just kind of imagine some, uh, this cinnamon is super cute with this. Rainy days are better with you. I'm gonna go ahead and set the kite aside because I think it probably goes with one of the sunny looks. And then I'm going to um, go ahead and attach some of this here. So I'm gonna grab a glue dot. You could certainly use, my, use your um, mono multi green capped glue, but the reason I'm going to go ahead with this is because I don't have to wait for it to dry while you guys are watching. I can just go ahead and um, stick it down and call it good. So what I'm doing is putting a half of a piece in each corner and I'm just going to go ahead. I might just put it down here. I don't know. I kind of feel like that, that might look better. I don't know. I can't decide. And then let's see. Then I would just, okay, stick that down, and then I would tuck this little guy in there. So then I always like to check before I put anything down that I'm not um, adhering anything strangely or something that's going to cause it. You know, I wouldn't want to put it on this because that, that's got to fold. So um, maybe I would put my little fox right there. And then I could put my rainy days are better with you here, or I could scoot them over here. So that would be cute. 
then maybe the directions that my animals are going would make it where I would put my bunny on this one or my bunny on this one and my little little flower um, turtle there with that one. But anyway, you can see um, here how you would kind of put it together. I do have a bow sitting here with this matching ribbon. So I might put that up by my sentiment or under my sentiment just to add a little bit of extra fun. One thing about this paper, I'm not sure I wanna overshadow it by putting a whole lot of um, sparkly things on it. But if I was going to, I would probably just use the plain um, basic rhinestones just so that like maybe in each corner there of the, um, in the centers of the dovetails, just to add um, a little interest to the sentiment so that you look at it. Because the paper is so beautiful with the, um, with the texture, it's, it's like a shiny look to the um, raindrops. And I just realized, guys, I have these raindrops right here upside down, so I'm gonna have to try to pull those up and slide it back under. I don't think it'll be any problem, but yeah, this one's upside down. So you do have to kind of watch for that as you're putting your cards together because the heavier part of the raindrop, the, the, the teardrop, you know, like the, the bottom, goes at the bottom. So sorry about that. We'll just have to laugh at that together. Okay, so then I did want to show you some other ideas that don't necessarily use the paper uh, that matches, just some of our other papers. So this one I was kind of imagining putting the bunny on. And I'm just going to show you all oh happy days with this. But um, I do think it could be cute to use a variety of things. Um, this Closed up umbrella is kind of cute, kind of like the um, sad times are over sort of a deal. So I think that's fun to put in um, as well. And then you can add the color that you need. So for example, on this one, I'm just going to add the petal pink. I'm using my petal pink marker right here. And I'm just gonna add some color with it. And that just kind of brings it all together. Um, I probably should have used the petal pink to do my bunny since I was gonna put it on this, but I just colored it kind of willy-nilly and didn't think about that. But um, anyway, I just think it's a lot of fun to use a lot of weird colors with this. For example, this is, this is a really bright uh, yellow, but it just kind of all blends together. Okay, then the next one I'm gonna show you is this pattern. And I think it is cute for our turtle. This also comes with a tree stump, which seems a little strange, but it is a perfect place for our turtle to stand. Now, if I were going to put this on a tree stump, I would probably cut off the bottom bit of white there and just make it so that it looks like he's standing directly on the tree stump, like that. He's got this, I would probably add some Wink of Stella to the flower just to make it more fun. And then I would probably add the oh happy day or a happy birthday or something like that just for fun. Now I've used um, this matching, whereas I also think if you just used a green stripe, that actually may call attention to it even nice, even, even cuter um, because it, it kind of fades away more. But so many choices with this, it's just hard to decide what to do. Then finally, I'm gonna show you this one. And I'm not sure with this, oh, I meant to use it on this one. I was thinking about putting a layer of brown to kind of make the um, tree stump look a little more natural. And then of course, sponging the tree stump would be a nice idea just to give it a little more um, visual, like let me show you, it's so nicely textured, but I'm not sure that you'll be able to see it necessarily. So um, that's kind of what I meant about sponging to add texture. Okay, and then with this final one, this is a bizarre color combination, I realize. I again used, oh, I should have mentioned that earlier, I'm so sorry. This is our, um, the hostess paper. Um, for this catalog and so or maybe celebration anyways um I love this paper and I have a whole bunch of it because I loved it so much 
Um, and so I think that this little fox colored in, you know, the first time I colored it with um, kind of some Cajun craze and some cameo, I mean, Calypso coral. And then this time I used the, um, the grays, kind of the light um, basic black and then the light smoky slate. Kind of put those together to kind of make a little, um, a little gray fox. And then I used this rainy days are better with you sentiment because clearly our little fox, we would have to, it would be pretty easy to do, but we would have to go in and cut the umbrella out in order to use him and or her, whatever we are there. And so I thought that could be really cute to put on there. So, oh, and I forgot something I was going to do here. I was thinking that putting also, if you didn't want to use the umbrella, that putting the kite in the little rabbit's hand would be super cute. So let me show you that real quick. I'm sorry, I should have, I should have taken time and gotten it more, gotten it more together in my mind. But yeah, just imagine doing that, and then putting your kite on top. Could be, you know, I probably should have made it match, but you know, as I'm thinking, I think slow sometimes. And then now I'm having a moment with the placement. Okay, there we are. Okay, so you can see kind of what I was saying. You've got your cute little um, bunny flying a kite. So that just adds um, another possibility to your thing. Besides just the, you could also have the umbrella and still have the umbrella in her hand. So choices, choices. But anyway, I think these are nice and simple cards that you could, um, could make very quickly if you wanted to make a whole bunch of them. And um, I think that, that whoever receives the card will be, will think that they are so cute because you guys have thought they're cute. I've seen you say it a couple of times, so I appreciate that. Um, but yes, that is all I pretty much have for you tonight. Of course, I'm going to go ahead and add some embellishments to these cards here. Um, of course, our um, matching ribbons and things like that are just going to make this even cuter. But um, going back one more time to show you our, our piece de resistance card tonight, the fun fold that we have here where we used all of the items together. And I think that just makes it um, a lot of fun to be able to use everything or almost everything that's in a set like this. It just, it feels, feels great to be able to put them all on the same card when you want. Bye-bye.